Some crazy shit's been going down. Well, I've escaped the country. I am on the run. Uh, apparently I know too much. If you are a real skater, Ski. join our game. Hi. Hey, Hi. boy out there. Feeling good to play projects. I talk about it, progress. Brazilian dominating trap. Carabella, you never forget. I get high with the skate sash. Skate high with my neck. Alright, sound clap. What is up, people? This is Daryl. This is how Daryl rolls. And apparently how Daryl sails now. So, if uh, you haven't been following my Instagram stories, you probably have no idea what's going on because I haven't posted on YouTube in way too long. And I'm going to try to get you up to speed here. Uh, do keep in mind there's going to probably be a decent amount of background noise in this because I'm on a boat and you know, there's seaplanes going nearby. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to try to cut that all out and use this good microphone to hopefully filter that out. Um, so, for those who've been waiting and wondering, what is going on? Well, I've escaped the country. I am on the run. Uh, apparently I know too much, and uh, it was necessary for me to escape. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but some crazy shit's been going down. So let me catch you up to speed, tell you why I'm on a boat, uh, what's going on, and what the plans are, or what the vague idea of what's going on here is going on here. So without further ado, this is how Daryl rolls. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. I don't have introduction, uh, introduction music. Anywho, why am I on a boat? Let's go back to the beginning. So, you may know, I'm a community organizer. Started in Winnipeg. It's the flat place with lots of grass. Prairies. Not exactly the best place for a downhill longboard scene, and yet I made it happen. I put on races. I got a community that had over 600 members join throughout its time. Not many of them were active or regular members, but the point being is I, I tried to make it happen. And part of the reason I was staying in Winnipeg is that I'd gotten a decent job, something that I felt was kind of my peak I could achieve with my education in that location where my family is and all that stuff. Anywho, that job went to sh**, and uh, the management is just terrible. Terrible. Uh, honestly, I, I am of the opinion that they were trying to get us to all quit because our union was too good, and they didn't want to deal with the fact that if they fired us, they'd have to pay us all out. So they made the job miserable and basically got us to train our replacements. I'm, I'm getting a little too deep into why I quit my job of 15 years that paid me really well. Uh, you know, I'm doing all this stuff on my vacation time, weekends and different things like that. Thought I could uh, man manage and balance all those things. Uh, but as you know, I haven't exactly been the most consistent content creator. Not that quitting my job has magically solved that issue. But I basically couldn't put up with them anymore. Giving me gray hairs, stressing me out, not something I wanted to do for the rest of my life. So I figured, while well, I'm still sort of young, I got to get out and do something different. So I took all my vacation time, tried to figure out some things in Vancouver. I had, even had some rooms lined up, some possible rental opportunities. And, you know, finding a place in Vancouver is probably one of the hardest things. Finding the job is easy, uh, even though I haven't found a job yet. Um, I've not really been work looking too hard. I'm trying to find specific types of jobs. I'm okay waiting for a good job. But finding a place to live is harder. And so I thought I had some places lined up, went back, quit my job, sold everything, and came out here and all of those opportunities fell through. So I was staying with Troy Yardways, awesome, awesome man, always willing to help out. However, it was stressing his relationship with his roommates, who are a little less, you know, willing to have people live at their place. 
uh, without them paying. I, I did help pay the gas bill and other things and constantly was cleaning up and giving them toilet paper and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I was in the positive. But either way, I had been there a bit too long. So I was looking for other opportunities. Now, along this, I should mention... You know, I've been doing lots of things, you know, talking about crypto, talking about NFTs, NARSDAO, SkateHive, all those things, trying to get people to understand what's going on. I've had actually a lot of success when I've been at local events here in British Columbia, which is why I was like, this is for sure where I need to be and I need to be active doing things. So along these events that I'm going to, I go to Danger Bay, which is in Pender Harbor. Pender Harbor is beautiful. Danger Bay was amazing. Great event. Bryson killed it. Jody killed it. Everybody put on a great year of events. A lot of people said it was the chillest year ever. Secretly, I was perfectly down with that. I'm more of a chill person, not a crazy partier. Although I'll film that stuff because it's good content. Um... Basically, it was an amazing event. I invited my friend out who was sailing nearby to come watch the longboard race. He came out and uh, anchored in a nearby harbor. And afterwards, he's like, you know what? We're both going to Vancouver. Why don't you hop in my boat and we'll sail back? How could I say no? So I hop in the boat with him sail back. We take a week to do so, stopping at harbors along the way, Smuggler's Cove, uh, Gibson's, you know, just stopping at towns, meeting people, talking to other sailors. And basically I realized it was a dream life. You know, I know it's not always wonderful weather like it's been for me recently. It's not always perfect winds. Sometimes there's no wind. Sometimes it's crazy storms. I realize it's not going to be as great as it was for my wonderful little week there. But it's basically a place to live that I can move around without the complicatedness of driving an RV on freaking busy roads and finding a camping place where you don't get ticketed or kicked out. There's still some rules around things, but way easier as long as it's near water. Um, so I realized this sounds like a dream life. So I'm looking for a boat. And along that process of looking for a boat, I happened upon this boat. It's for sale, $5,500. Um, and I was going to come take a look at it, and they're like, hey, we have an interesting offer. If you come work for us, you'll get to stay on the boat. Now, my brain was a little bit too eager and I heard that I get the boat. I don't know if there was bad communication on her part or if I'm just hearing that. Um, I thought I confirmed it back to her, be like, I get the boat? And yeah, yeah, you get the boat. So I came out, take a look at the boat. It's not the best condition. Kind of don't want to have to fix this thing up to be able to sail. But, it was 40 hours a week of work, or 40 hours a month of work for two months, and I get to stay on a boat. And I needed a place to stay anyways, as I mentioned with the roommate situation earlier. So it seemed like a good opportunity, despite the fact that I didn't get to keep the boat. You know, it was a little awkward when I confirmed that fact. But uh, once I kind of got over the, the shock of that, I was like, okay, well, it solves an issue. I've got something to do, place to stay. Uh, I can store all my stuff here and actually try to like settle down a bit and focus on creating content for you guys. Let's do it. And Seashell's a beautiful, beautiful little town. And I'm staying in Porpoise Bay. I'm seeing like schools of fish going outside. A, a seal came and played with me the other day and like was swimming along with me as I was rowing my boat, um, watching the beach. Every morning, just waves crashing, the sound of those rounded rocks being pounded by the shore and then rolling up and down the beach. It's paradise. This is paradise here. I know it's not going to be this nice in winter, 
but uh, I'm, I'm going to stay here for a while. I'm going to look for boats. Hopefully, you know, we're going to start a new chapter with that, how Daryl sails. And uh, we're going to go to all the places with mountains near coasts. We're going to longboard. We're going to show people Skate Hive, Narsdow. We're going to do all that stuff. And it's been fantastic. Uh, also, if you're still watching at this point, uh, check out Virtual Slide Jam on some contests being put on, put on by Curtis Duro. Um, and, you know, we just announced the community winner, which was AJ Dill. Um, awesome stuff going on. Get involved. If you need any help, as usual, contact me to get signed up for Skate Hive. Sign up process is still complicated because it's crypto and security is the number one priority. So if you have any trouble signing up with that, join our Discord. We can create an account for you. And if not, just reach out. I'll teach you how to do it. And after that, you can make money creating content, pull out that money, use it to buy things, and support your skating and other things that get people stoked. Uh, that's the whole point of Stoken and things that are becoming reality in the near future. So this is uh, Daryl reporting from... The Crown Royal sailboat is apparently the name of this boat. And uh, I just live here, don't own it. But uh, <laughs> I'm glad you're along for the ride. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to throw some clips in of some of the awesome stuff going on. Limited internet here, so i got to take all this stuff to shore to upload it after editing it. And I'm running off a solar panel so life's a bit interesting right now but probably a good reason to tune in give me a like smash that share button share it with your friends save it you know, all the things that are good for the algorithm um it's how daryl rolls peace out